him nine for 14 from the floor, three for four on threes. Did you see anything in practice or warm-ups that let you know you might have a shooting performance like this in you? Not really. Um, I knew they were guard heavy. They were uh, guards pretty much, I mean, they did it tonight too, but um, when we went up to Temple, they shot lights out and I just knew I had to perform for my team. You also get nine from the free throw line and five rebounds, assists, steals. Where does this rank among your performances this year? Um, I say at the top, I wasn't too happy about my defense if they got a couple in my face. But mm, I have to watch that on the film. Yeah, they did. They were good shots. I, I contested, so that was pretty good. But um, I'm just happy we got the win. I, I think it was one of her better games in, in overall floor games, getting herself to the free throw line. Uh, her, her shots, if you notice at the end, we put the ball in her hands quite a bit. Uh, I, you know, I was worried about maybe her shots being short because we didn't really sub her a lot and, and they're always double teaming her, chasing her, so she's always having to work to get her shots off. But I thought her, her court awareness was very good. When they doubled and tripled her, she, she found the open person. And, and a lot of times it was a kill, especially that second half. Do they defend you differently this time than when you played them up in Philadelphia? Not at the beginning. Um, in the second half, I know they started face guarding and tried to um, play me a little closer. Um, but I just had to keep moving up without the ball. And um, Rhonda, the kid was on the receiving end, like Rhonda just said. Temple's obviously a team that can shoot from the outside at 12 three pointers tonight. How much. Are you surprised that you had such a big offensive night when you had to concentrate that much on defense with those with them shooting from every corner of the gym? A little bit, but I think everybody was kind of keyed in to uh, produce him um, more on the offensive end, and especially we've been harping on um, putting two halves together, so we, knew we had to come out with energy and uh, keep the same fight that, or even more than we did in the first half. Well, we didn't key too much on defense. We gave up 12 threes. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> no, as then no, as Kina. You know you won, right? <laughs> as Keena, I'm just giving her a hard time. As Keena, as Keena said, we did it. Put two halves together. The key, though, was coming out. You know, that was a three-point game at halftime. You know, obviously, it was an offensive show, 44-41. And we, we talked about the second half. Is you know, the thing about it is we were trying to cut down, minimize the number of threes that they that they hit. But geez, you look at it, they shot 72% the first half. Who does that? I mean, who does that for a half? Field goal percentage. Now, we're not talking free throw percentage. We'd be happy shooting 72% from the free throw line. So at some point, you hope uh, uh, the law of averages, as, as Danny said on the bench, is going to catch up with them. Did you make, in the first half when they shot 76, was it one of the, were there flaws that you saw in your defense, or was it just one of those afternoons where everything they threw up was going in? You know, I thought they hit some tough shots the first half. I thought, I mean, there were shots that they hit with us flying at them. I mean, every team's going to get shots. You work the ball long enough, you're going to get shots. It's a matter of you knock down open shots, you knock down tough shots. They just, they just were on fire. And the other things, they did a good job the first half. Temple did a very good job of getting, uh, getting themselves to the free throw line. And so not only were they knocking down threes, but they were knocking down free throws. I probably need Kina to... Um, to probably head Thank to you. sign a few autographs. Kina had the four point play in the, I don't know, two thirds of the way through the second half. Was that, did you see any, any uh, sort of wind out of the sails for Temple on a play like that, where they had a player right in Kina's face, she drains a three anyway? Is that particularly deflating? I think it was more energizing for us than it was deflating for them. Uh, that's, that's, I felt like that play was the play offensively or the play in the game that we needed to really give us that confidence, you know, boost that we needed. I just felt like that play energized us. And it was, it was I think it was from then on, we were, a, I felt like we were a different team. At, at one point, during timeout, I said we need we know we need more we need more energy we need more energy we need to make plays. Sometimes you just need to make plays, and that play just is is really what got us going. Keena gets a lot of attention, and rightly so, and she scores 30 today. But Akeel Simpson gave you another double double, and like Keena was saying, Temple's sort of a guard-heavy team. 
Did you go into this expecting a big performance out of Akil because of Temple's focus on the perimeter? I, the way Akil's been playing, she has been so consistent, and she has really, really played well. Uh, especially when they when uh, they they took some of their bigger post players out, put them on the bench. They went small. We tried to go into Akil. Well, they started double teaming Akil. But as I, I say, I feel like I say this every game. When I heard she had 23, 23 points, I believe, and, and 12 boards, they are the quietest 23 points, probably because she's not hitting threes and you know she's she's getting laid. She's the recipient of a lot of Keenest passes, and, and she also has great hands. So I mean, they they have a, a great bond, a great relationship on uh, on the floor. But Akil's been so consistent and as consistent as anybody on, on the team, and you know I'm I'm happy for her because she's really worked hard. Akil also had three block shots and three steals. Was this her best defensive?